Yo, what's good? Y'all already see the title. I'm already in the menu. You feel me? But it's my career. If you're new to my channel, make sure y'all go hit subscribe and hit the notification bell. Because we drop bangers on the regular. You feel me? Insane Crazy 92 Ways to GT. Let's get it. I'm not surprised at all that MP was stooped this low. I told y'all, he didn't like the coach. And you know what that little channel of his, he wants the drama. It's good for ratings. Believe me, I know. And can we talk about this tweet for a second from user start MP, you idiots? First of all, is that your burner MP? I refuse to believe a real person would name themselves that. Second of all, the tweet said, and I quote, free my boy MP. I swear y'all clowns wouldn't know Michael Jordan if he smacked you in the face. Are you kidding me, MP? You think you're Michael Jordan? <laughs> and you want to talk about clowns? The only clown here is you, running around with your Twitter fingers, acting like a fool like this. There he is, the wardrobe trailblazer, the style originator. Yeah, I came to hang with the task generator. What's going on? Oh, I mean, if you want to stop pursuing your dreams, just let me know and I'll back off. But you feeling unappreciated, Ricky? That you need more hugs, bro? I mean, a simple thank you every once in a while would be nice. Thank you, Rick. Thank you for being the best business partner a guy could ask for, Ricky. That sounds pretty nice. All right, what we doing? <laughs> All right, so look, I've been thinking. We need to separate you from everybody else when it comes to this fashion thing. Right. I got an idea. All right, let me hear you. We need to step up your game day fits. We need you in that Russell Westbrook, LeBron James conversation. Every time they step off the bus, they got a brand new outfit. Yo, I could do that. See? I mean, you could even do it at, like, park games. You're just gonna have to do it a lot more because it's not as many eyeballs on you, but yeah. Look, just think it over. It could be a great chance for you to do what you do best and second best at the same time. Hey, Bo, which one is which? Mm, I don't know. I'll let you know when I see you play and what you play in. <laughs> All right. Should be a very tactical game tonight. Both teams we go. relying on execution in the half court. Yeah. And, and. Now the right? Go get it. You're just Let's lucky. Go. That's all this is. Prince has checked in for Josh Jackson. Saban Lee subbed in for Cunningham. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Reddish the pass to going up. 137 left in the first quarter. And the pass to Okongwu. Just five on the clock. The tray. It's held in by Diallo. Detroit leading by six. Passes to Lee. He kicks it to Prince. Off target from three-point range. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Here's right. The 10-footer finds the target. 104 left in the first quarter of the game. It's Prince on the wing. Back to Lee. Prince outside. Sinks the triple. Greg, we heard the rumors early in training camp. This team is a bit torn on their view of MP and how he should be used. Well, from what I heard, the front office loves him. But the man making the lineup doesn't agree, and it's become a point of contention. You wonder when MP will get a chance as a starter. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Just doing the job on the backboard. A wide open look here for Wright. A three-pointer, no good. Prince with it. Now Wright defending. 
Prince kicks to Diallo. This one for three, and the three is knocked three down. Points. Deep ball, good, and a nice shot from Prince. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Lee against Williams. Let's the three fly. And so is Detroit with a 10 point lead. Your home. Seven. The Pistons. 17. that great rim protection can give you. Yeah, you can't be careless with your shot selection out there because some of them are getting thrown back. On the floor for Detroit, we've got Prince. Sadiq Bey is out there with Kelly Olenek. Then there's Isaiah Stewart. And it's Cunningham in at the one spot. Bogdanovich finds Hunter. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. Clock at four. Over Prince. It's good, and the Pilsen lead is cut down now to just eight points with the basket from Bogdanovich. Well, Bogdanovich is a shooter, and he's got good feel from the mid-range. Prince dishes Gunningham. Back to Prince. Pass to Gunningham. Prince outside. Off target with his three. And here's Hunter. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. First chance of the season for them to go up against this Pistons team. And looking back to last season, they won this season series, as you'd expect. Well, they were obviously the superior team a year ago, but a lot can change from one season to the next in the NBA. Let's see how this game plays out before we make any rush to judgment as to how they'll fare against each other this year. In his first game after starting in the 2020 All-Star game, Trey Young had an incredible night, dropping 50 points against the Miami Heat. And Young became the fourth youngest NBA player to get to 50. Only Devin Booker, LeBron, and Brandon Jennings got to 50 in a game at a younger age. Perhaps the most impressive part of Trey's performance, he did it against coach Eric Spolstra's Miami Heat, one of the top defensive teams in the league. Now the dish to Young. Let's it go from deep. The shot that time, not on target. And it's Detroit the other way. They've led by as much as 10. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Sadiq Bey was the 19th pick in 2020 out of Villanova, and he made an immediate impact for the Pistons. Dwayne Casey said he's a coach's dream. He's made himself into one of the top three-point shooters in his class. But the defender is just scratching the surface. Nice. John Collins. And that's his first personal foul. Shooting for Detroit. Isaiah Stewart. One shot. Not find a higher percentage opportunity than that. Looking at who's out there now for the Pistons. Josh Jackson's checked in for a Linux. Corey Joseph subbed in for Cunningham. Collins, a screen on Joseph. Capella, the best to Collins. It's Bogdanovich on the wing. Collins setting the pick for Bogdanovich. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Pistons leading by nine. A kicks to Joseph over Bogdanovich. Shot by Joseph, no good. Yeah, my expectations were that he was not going to miss that. <laughs> he handles that kind of defense, especially on the inside. He just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. Here's Prince. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Prince has got 11 points. An MP, a player who gained fame early in his life, Greg, was a bit of a social... Now, this is the for the 50s. Now, the end 
the first half for the score. Your Hawks, 23. The Pistons, 47. in for Grant. The three from Bogdanovich. That's in, coming off the assist from Young. Young's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Let me remind the audience, Brent Berry, a winner of two titles with the Spurs. Brent, what's the secret sauce to winning a title? Yeah, honestly, you got to have a superstar. And I was lucky enough to play with the great Hall of Famer Tim Duncan, um, along with Greg Popovich. You got to have a couple of those guys on your team uh, in order to win a title. And in at the forward positions, Hunter and Colin. Young and Bogdanovich, they have the guard duty for free. And it's Capella in at the center, locking down the middle. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Takes it from 10, and the Hawks getting another basket right there. Every player his size has a lot of creativity to the game, especially scoring. Trey is a flat-out scorer. From deep, Prince, another three for Detroit. How about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half? Young pass to Collins. Capella sets a screen for Young. Pass to Capella. Oh, took the contact and tried to... No way you can keep this up. Zero chance. Capella. At Luke Capella, Brent, shot an eye-popping 65% from the field. That led the NBA. Well, a, a third of his baskets were dunks during that season, so I would expect the percentage to actually, Kevin, be pretty high. And a lot of those were at the hands of James Harden at the time playing in Houston, who won the MVP that year. But he has the ability to roll and to finish. He has shown soft hands, and he plays defensively. So he's, he's a great big who can put out to complement both sides of the floor. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. And here's Prince outside. Rebound, Atlanta. Gallinari kicks to right. He dishes it to Williams. Over Prince. They get it again. Capella. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. And now it's just a four-point piston lead. Prince outside. And DeLon Wright gets the whistle that time. And that's his first hit. That's the end of the game. Thanks again, folks, for coming out and supporting your basketball team. Drive home safely and see you again soon. you want to start I've noticed you sometimes bobbing your head on the court even when they're not playing anything in the arena oh man you can see that <laughs> okay you got a song stuck in your head or something <laughs> look man I just be pumping myself up getting fired up getting ready to play you know I'm trying to put on the show out there and you can't have a show without the soundtrack it's like you know I'm backing myself up with an eternal playlist so who's on that playlist? I feel like I could use a little taste of that. <laughs> Honestly, I listen to most of my own stuff. Beats I'm playing with, you know, verses that I'm still working on, that sort of thing. Who could get me more focused than me? I didn't know you were doing so much of your own music. Hey, you know what? I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to email you one of my tracks. Okay, thanks. You got to listen to it. I will. <laughs> yeah, sure, let's do another one. I've noticed one thing that seems even stronger than your basketball game, your fashion game. Is that a priority to you? Hey, for sure. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you. 
Coming out of high school, I was all about shorts, J's, baggy hoodies, okay? But seeing the guys around the league and the guys in my own locker room, I knew I had to step it up. And those guys, they've been helping me find my groove, you know what I'm saying? So I, I feel like I've been picking up on a, picking up on things. So thank you for noticing, Andrew. Would you say fashion is your main form of self-expression? Nah, man, look, I got a lot of ways to express myself. I listen to music, you know, I be getting into sketching. Plus, you guys never stop asking me uh, my opinion on everything. I express myself more here than I could in any pair of colorful costume glasses with no lenses. Man, I'd rather speak my mind than let you decide what my pants are saying. I'm guessing you're saying no more questions. Thanks, MP. You a smart guy, Andrew. Thank you. Man, that you guys see it. Another game down. You feel me? Nothing too crazy is going on right now. Um, if y'all made it this far to end the video, man, make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe, man. Hit the notification bell because we're dropping bangers on the regular. It's your boy JB. I'm holla at you guys next time, man. Peace.